There we go. Hello, welcome back to GameSpot's coverage of E3 2015. It would not be an E3 if my boy Lou Stutter didn't turn up <laughs> and talk to me What's about Skylanders. On, How you doing, my friend? Doing good, doing I good. I think we're three years in a row, I think. I know, I think we got a good streak going. Yeah, it's great. Uh, more Skylanders, Supercharged. Yes. This is the fifth, fifth This is Skylanders. the fifth. Can I name off five? I don't know, can you? Yeah, fuck. Uh, Come on. First one was just like Spyro's Adventure. Yeah. Uh, Spyro's out of the question now. <laughs> we're He's past, still there. He's still there. We're past Spyro. Um, Trap Team. Uh, oh, you're jumping. Uh, you're way out of order. Oh, Giants? Yeah, that was two. Trap Team. Yeah. Uh, Come on. Swap Force. Yes. Yes. There you That's go. It. And five this out of year. five. And it's Supercharged. Skylander Superchargers. Because there wasn't enough. Sorry, Superchargers. That's <laughs> right. Come I knew on. all the other ones. Come on. And I got the new one wrong. Oh, you're uh, killing me. I'm, lo I'm looking at this stuff. We'll talk about this yeah, in a little yeah. bit. This Absolutely. is madness. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's going on? Vehicles now? Yes, yeah. So what we're doing this year is we're actually uh, mixing our traditional on-foot combat mm. with brand new vehicle gameplay. But we didn't just want our vehicles to be kind of just things you hopped in to go from point A to point B. They're mm. actually an integral part of the experience. And we've got exploration, we've got combat, we've got puzzle solving, all within the confines of land, sea, and sky-based vehicle cool. gameplay, seamlessly with our on-foot gameplay. Excellent. Uh, let's check it out. You've, you've got it set up right here already. Yeah, yeah these, absolutely. So folks? we've got a couple of characters that we're showing for the first time here at E3. I've got Fiesta and the Crypt Crusher. Mm. And so <laughs> what we've got this year are 20 Supercharger Skylanders. And then we've also got 20 vehicles. Okay. And so as I mentioned, we've got land, sea, and sky-based vehicles. And so Crypt Crusher here is a land-based vehicle, mm -hmm. but the Reef Ripper here <laughs> is uh, sea, and uh, Sky Slicer here is sky. Yeah. And so you can see another thing that we're doing this year is these toys don't have bases. Yes. These are full-blown vehicle toys. Yeah, they, like you can roll, like you DK can roll, here, it's like yeah. straight up rolling. The ones with like wheels, you can roll. This is my favorite. I call this the egg beater. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty the, good. You get, you get the propeller to turn. I like this little the, the, action here the fin, as well. The fin flipper. Look at that thing. And so design-wise... <laughs> Sorry. It's I'm just, all right. I'm just it's all right. some toys. So design-wise, where it makes sense, we wanted to actually give these an added bit of life and an added bit of mm. additional articulation for mm. the first time. And awesome. so for us, it's been a lot of fun. Because traditionally, in all of our Toys to Life video games, it's been really character focused. Yeah, big time. And so this time, pushing that boundary to go to the vehicle mm. side of things has been a lot of fun. Excellent. Uh, let's talk about the gameplay. We've got we've got some of it shown up here. It yeah, looks absolutely. great, first of all. Thank I know you, you guys are you guys kind of support all of the the breadth of consoles, and yeah. we're looking at the PS4 stuff here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean we we actually are designing the game from kind of the ground up on the newest generation of platforms, really pushing our visuals. I mean our team at Vicarious Visions are basically tech wizards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those guys push graphics like, you know, you haven't seen. And then it, it's also scalable, because this is coming out on the the, the, the Wii as well. Yeah, Not uh, just the yeah, Wii U. It's, it's, it's <laughs> coming out on just about <laughs> everything. everything you can imagine. 3DS, so we've got, Wii. Yeah, we've got 3DS, Wii, Wii U, PS3, PS4, X360, Xbox One, and iPad. Crazy. And yeah. iPad as well. Yeah, and so last year what we did with Trap Team was we actually introduced the entire game mm. on an iPad. And we had this really cool portal and controller that we gave you <laughs> and basically turned your iPad into a TV screen that you could take anywhere and play the full experience. And so do all like the other four games, do they still work on the new one? Every single character that we have ever <laughs> created works in our game. How many, uh, what, are, what are we talking, like uh, 150 like, like, like or? 300. Oh, so 300. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> madness, but. Do you know them all? No. <laughs> I mean, I do. <laughs> yeah. And if you if you showed it to me, I could name everyone. But yeah, sitting here doing all 300, yeah. I. No. No, don't worry, I'm not yeah, going yeah, yeah. to. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you just swapped, you straight up swapped it out to a, a, a flight base. Yeah, exactly. So you can see here, my buddy Sean is, is playing through our sky-based sequence. And when you're in the sky, you've got that added sense of mobility you've got the added sense of movement and right here it's more of a, a track focused forward chase sequence where you're trying to take out these transport ships uh, but even level by level we're opening up what we can do with these different types of vehicle gameplay so, and can so you, here can, can you just get out whenever you want as well no it's in a specific uh, sequences yeah okay and so it goes from on foot to vehicle um, but in this sequence like I said we're, we're going more forward you know kind of track based but in other levels we've got full 360 degree dog fighting. We even have a level where the camera's top down and you're going old school arcade, <laughs> seeing you know you dodge the bullets. 
and we do that for land and sea as well. And so making sure that these vehicle sequences have as much variety that we've been able to put in our on foot gameplay. These aren't just, you know, added one-off types of encounters. It's a fully fledged experience. Excellent. Uh, let's talk about the ape in the room. Yes. Uh, Mr. Donkey Kong yes. is uh, right beside us here. Uh, yeah, as yeah, is yeah. Bowser. Yeah. Can I can I show off the, my, what I think is yes. the coolest feature? Yeah, absolutely. Of this? Uh, we get a camera on this bad boy. Yeah. Uh, first of all, these guys look absolutely cool. You got your little partnership with Nintendo. Uh, yeah. But perhaps the coolest thing. It's right under here. Uh, it says it. What's it say there? It says Skylanders. It's a Skylander. And if you flip it, it says Amiibo. Yeah. Trust so me. In there. <laughs> so you can just straight up just uh, flick it like that, and it's yeah. an Amiibo. Yeah. Man. So basically, these guys are, are Skylanders guest stars <laughs> with Amiibo functionality. Why didn't you bring it? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> but they also have their own exclusive vehicles, and so it's been really great as working with Nintendo, collaborating with them on creating these characters mm. for the game. They work in the Wii U, the Wii, the 3DS versions of the game, and they have so much insane history with them <laughs> as they fly off into your pocket. <laughs> um, I mean, you can even see on the vehicles themselves, we've put a lot of history, like Donkey Kong's, this is Barrel Blaster. And what's yeah, my favorite so cool. is that it's marrying the two kind of key moments for Donkey Kong. His original mm. introduction where he threw his barrels and his minecart, which is so iconic with Donkey Kong Country. Yes. And then for uh, the Clown yeah, Cruiser, which is Bowser's vehicle, it's got the clown face paint oh, yeah. uh, from Super Mario World, mm. which was his boss fight in that gyrocopter. And then the armor plating is that of the Koopa shells. Oh, it's awesome. And so when you play as these guys, each one is full of so much history. Mm. And the teams actually put that into their movesets because we've created them as Skylanders. They play like nothing you've ever played with either of Donkey Kong mm. or Bowser. In fact, one of the cool things is that we're actually the first ones to bring Bowser into a 3D action game. Oh, really? He's never yeah. been in a 3D action game. I guess Tropical Freeze, yeah, okay. He's it's never 2D. Yeah, play, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's 3D never, engine, but yeah. I mean, well, you know what I mean. Like, he's <laughs> never actually been in a, a 3D action adventure. That's crazy. Are you playable. guys going to do more stuff with Nintendo? Is this like the tip of the iceberg? I mean, we'll see. I mean, I, I think fans are really excited about this. I know I'm really excited about mm. it. I can't stop playing with Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> and so we'll just see where we go from there. It's excellent. I think I think this was a super clever little move yeah, as I well, mean, uh, having them work both ways. Yeah, it's, uh, it's And they look great. Like, Thank I you. I think the fact that these moves speaks volumes as well because yeah. like what this has always been I guess Toys to Life and you guys were, were you guys were starting kicking this whole thing off you know yeah, now yeah. it's we have Amiibos and then obviously Disney Infinity mm -hmm. um, when you guys started doing this the idea that these were toys that worked in games they weren't just pieces of plastic that changed the video game yeah. um, your fan base obviously has grown it's been five years of doing or five games yeah. of doing Skyline is much more seven or eight years yeah, at this yeah, stage yeah. Um, have you felt that like almost like a lot of uh, games of that nature, like Harry Potter, I always think, those games evolved with their audience yeah. because their audience got older. Yeah. Um, well, you guys, when you're envisaging this stuff, are you creating games for that growing audience or are you trying to like grab, like, sort of stay with your, your like one age set? <laughs> I mean, that's actually a really good question and something that we kind of look at both. I mean, for us, we don't want to, you know, abandon the fans that made the games what they are, but at the same time, we want to make sure that we get new people to experience the game. And so it's kind of that perfect balance. That's why we fully respect the collection every year and yeah. bring you know the whole collection forward so fans can continue their adventure with their favorite characters. But at the same time, we have to ensure that straight out of the box, we're cr creating a, a captivating game mm. that is fun for anyone for the first time. And, and fun for people to play uh, with others as well. Uh, you yes. guys have uh, local co-op and whatnot? Yeah, we, we always support our drop-in, drop-out co-op. Mm. Uh, this year is actually really fun because uh, we've kind of changed it up for the vehicles. And so in on-foot sections, oh, Sean's waiting for me for a land vehicle. <laughs> uh, Sorry, Sean. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> um, but in, in, in on-foot sections, you have both your Skylanders. But then when you get to a vehicle section, you actually uh, assume the role of kind of a driver and a gunner. Mm. And so you're in the same vehicle together, each doing different things, and you can press a button at any time to switch between who wants to drive and who wants to use the attacks. And so what we've seen with cool. us playing it as well as kids playing the game is that you see a lot of fun kind of focus where someone's focusing on strafing around an enemy, doing donuts around them because yeah. we have a drift button in a land vehicle, while the other one's focused on trying to aim and collect our, our gear bits, which are our vehicle currency. And so you can see here, we're in a, a land vehicle section. Mm. And so Sean's kind of speeding down the highways of our Cloud Kingdom level. He's got his, his, his minions, his Fiesta minions in tow, riding on the back of his vehicle. Um, and one of the things that's interesting is you'll notice the, the vehicle looks a little bit different than the vehicle does on yes. the portal. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a so black and blue wheel situation, and it's red and in then, the game. Yeah, exactly. So one of the things that we've got is the ability to customize your vehicle. 
And so what we wanted to do is kind of put a Skylander spin on car tuning or vehicle tuning. And <laughs> basically what that means is you're not hopping under the hood and fiddling with spark plugs and knobs and switches. What you're doing is actually trading whole parts out. And so for each vehicle, there are two places that you can mod. Cool. And so on, you see the Crypt Crusher here, it's actually the main coffin body as well as that back wheel. Does and that so stuff stay with the, the the local game save on the console? It's or saved on the toy. So if you bring that toy to your buddy's house, your you mods will be equipped. That's pretty cool. And so the mods are really cool because it allows you to explore the world, find different pieces, change the, the look of your vehicle very you know, very drastically, but then get all the benefits of tuning. So you're changing your, your acceleration, your top speed, your handling, and your armor while you're doing that. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we've seen a lovely breadth of characters we have here. Any chance we can stick one of these bad boys in there? Uh, so we're playing on the PlayStation 4 version. And so the, the characters, obviously, these are Nintendo guys. Yeah. And so they're going to work on the Wii U, the Wii, and the 3DS versions of the game. Not going to ever get those onto other platforms? Uh, that's a <laughs> Nintendo question, not an Activision one. That ain't up to Lou Stoddard. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you so much, uh, Lou, for coming on yeah, again. Of course. Pleasure. I look forward to seeing next your game year, next yes. year <laughs> with the sixth. <laughs> I'll see if we can. We'll keep doing this. This is It'll good. Like Ten okay. years from now, I'll be rattling out. Man, I'm going to be quizzing games. you every single year. This will be good. I don't know why you guys are going to do next. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much for coming on and showing us the latest Skylands. Yeah, game. absolutely. It. Enjoy the rest of your E3. Yeah, you do. Cool. Uh, make, and thank you for watching on GameSpot.com. Of course, on the uh, YouTube E3 hub. And if you're watching on Hitbox as well, uh, welcome. Nice to have you today. The second day of the stage show right here on E3, our GameSpot uh, stage at E3. We've got a bunch of more stuff coming up. Next up, bit of a bit of a hard swing. We got Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>